is Bahrain-born fashion designer Harry and Meghan's mystery matchmaker. Estranged wife of Harry's friend from Eton set couple up on a blind date. Prince Harry and his new fiancée Meghan Markle are refusing to name their matchmaker but it's believed to be her Bahrain-born best friend. Mishanonu, the estranged wife of Harry's friend Alexander Gilks, a pal of William and Harry's from Eton, is said to have organized their blind date last year. Meghan and Harry said that the mystery person, a mutual friend, had set them up and the prince said yesterday he knew she was the one as soon as they met. In their first interview Harry revealed the couple had just two back-to-back -back dates in London before flying on holiday to Botswana together, Harry's favourite place in the world, for five days, where they slept out under the stars. Harry said, We were introduced actually by a mutual friend. It was literally through her and then we met once and then twice back-to-back -back two dates in London, last July. We'll protect her privacy, yeah, Prince Harry added. He went on. And then it was I think about three, maybe four weeks later that I managed to persuade her to come and join me in Botswana. And we, we camped out with each other under the stars we spent. She came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. Meghan said she had only one question for her friend when she suggested the date. Well, is he nice? She said. Because I'm from the States you don't grow up with the same understanding of the royal family. And so, while I now understand very clearly there is a global interest there, I didn't know much about him and so, the only thing that I had asked her when she said she wanted to set us up was, I have one question which was, well, is he nice? Cause if he wasn't kind it just didn't seem like it would make sense and so we went and we had a met for a drink and I think very quickly into that we said, well what are we doing tomorrow? We should meet again. Harry adds, what are we doing tomorrow? Let's meet again. And then it was like, right, diaries. We need to get the diaries out and find out how we're going to make this work, because I was off to Africa for a month she was working. And we just said right where's the gap? And the gap happened to be in the perfect place, Botswana. Miss Markle interrupted, we should protect her privacy and not reveal too much of that. The revelation that the go-between was a woman has led to fervent speculation, as many sources believed Miss Markle's Canadian friend Marcus Anderson acted as Cupid. Other candidates include Made in Chelsea star Millie McIntosh, who is one of Meghan's workout buddies. The pair spent time at Soho Farmhouse in Oxfordshire last year, with Miss Markle gushing on Instagram. The best afternoon with Millie McIntosh. So proud of you, darling. Another contender is fashion designer Mishanonu, who split from Alexander Gilks last year after four years of marriage. Misha is well connected in royal circles as her estranged husband went to Eton with Prince Harry and Prince William. Gilks was a guest at the royal wedding of Wills and Kate back in 2011, and his younger brother Charlie dated Pippa Middleton for years. Misha is also a mutual friend of both the Prince and Meghan, adding to the theory that she brought the pair together. It is rumoured that the pair first met in a dining room at Soho House, the London Private Members Club, in July 2016. Sources say Harry listened intently while Meghan spoke about Rwanda, where she had been campaigning for clean water. He was captivated by her altruism, and from the moment they said their goodbyes, he bombarded her with texts asking to see her again. Talking about the friend who set them up, Prince Harry added, it was through her and then we met once and then twice back to back two dates in London, last July. And then it was I think about three, maybe four weeks later that I managed to persuade her to come and join me in Botswana. And we, we camped out with each other under the stars we spent. She came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. Meghan added, just to take the, take the time to be able to go on long country walks and just talk. Miss Markle revealed tonight how she said yes immediately to Harry after he proposed on one knee while they were cooking a roast dinner during a cozy night. 
In their first joint interview this evening, Miss Markle, 36, said she did not even wait for the 33-year-old royal to finish the sentence before she said, yes, and it was so sweet and natural and very romantic. The couple, who had been in Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace when the proposal happened, revealed that they first met on a blind date after being set up by a female friend and have tried to see each other every two weeks. Harry added, I fell in love with Meghan so incredibly quickly. All the stars were aligned. Everything was just perfect. It was this beautiful woman just sort of literally tripped and fell into my life. I fell into her life.